I'm Mary Hamill and this is the High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of May brought to you by Global 5 Communications. China, Japan, the fastest trains in the world and what it means for the U.S. But first, Florida is making history as the first high speed rail project to receive approval from the Federal Rail Administration. The line from Orlando to Tampa, which will run in the median of the I-4 corridor, is on schedule to be the first operational high-speed rail line in America. The Florida Department of Transportation received $1.25 billion from the FRA in January and has now been given the go-ahead for design, land acquisition, and construction. The rail company owned by the Japanese government would like to supply trains for Florida high-speed rail, and top Japanese officials are working hard to make that happen. U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood has been in Japan riding that country's 310 mile per hour maglev train, the world's fastest train, which operates right now only on a test track. Japan is promoting another 200 mile per hour train for the U.S. high speed rail. Japan is up against trains built in China, Korea, Germany, France, Spain, and Canada. LaHood is asking manufacturers who will compete for the work to build their equipment in America and hire American workers. He emphasized the $8 billion allocated to date for high-speed rail is to put Americans to work. Japan is moving forward on several fronts. Its trains are built to a different set of criteria than its international competitors. Japan's transport minister is asking the U.S. to adopt standards that will keep Japan eligible for American projects. As the first operational high-speed rail system, those standards are expected to be set in Florida. The competition is tough. China's goal is to be the number one high-speed rail supplier to the U.S. and the world. By 2012, China will have more high-speed rail tracks than the rest of the world combined. It now has the fastest operational high-speed rail train. China is investing more than $200 billion in high-speed rail. China is partnering with GE in the U.S. to counter some of the criticism of foreign ownership and promising that locomotive components would be 80% American and 20% Chinese with final assembly in the U.S. And to sweeten the deal, China is offering low interest financing. I'm Mary Hamill, and this is your High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of May, brought to you by Global 5 Communications.